Salutations fellow widows, it is I, RJ Snow, the British Snowman, and once again, welcome back to my channel. So, it seems like Marvel is moving forward with the Black Widow uh, solo movie. Um, it is rumored to be coming out in the year 2020. So, this is a good look. Uh, like, we're getting closer to getting things into production and getting things rolling to to this coming into the light okay so like i said this is all rumored there's nothing in contract yet so this is not in concrete right now but it seems like they are trying to get everything ready to start moving forward um black widow she's an amazing character i think her uh comic books uh are awesome if you haven't had the chance to read any of them please do so um also I'm not all for the origin movies of superheroes at times. Cause like, you know, we got Superman, Batman, uh, maybe even the Hulk. Like, you know what I'm saying? We know how these superheroes came to. You know what I'm saying? We know Superman came from Crypt Time, was a baby, got flown to so, you know, Earth, blah blah. Batman parents got killed, you know, he devoted his life to for justice, you know, stuff like stuff like that, you know. But people don't know about Black Widow, okay? So hopefully this not this not a tie-in or spin-off to the current Marvel Cinematic Universe, but more of an origin story of how she became Black Widow. How how did Natasha Romanoff become Black Widow. So I'm looking for an origin story from Black Widow from this movie if it comes to the light, okay? Uh, things I want to see, like I said in my last video, I want to see The Winter Soldier, hopefully that. I want to see the Black Widow program, see how uh, that uh, was ran and who ran it and, and the training they went through to to become one of the like illest deadliest <laughs> assassins and agents you know what i'm saying i want to see hopefully we can see red guardian you know what i'm saying a lot of folks don't know about red guardian but i want to see red guardian in the movie you know what i'm saying because black widow and red guardian were married for for a time so maybe we can see that little love interest and everything um but like it's, this is a great movie. This this well this, this this is a great movie. This will this will or or it's going to be a great movie if it comes to light. Another thing, uh, hopefully it be, it be, uh, <laughs> hopefully it becomes a rated R movie because Black Widow is like her character is so in depth and so deep, so suspenseful, and the drama is there. This would be an awesome movie if Marvel would would go uh to the dark place with this movie and, and i think this movie will be a great movie to go dark with because black widow and her story is dark if they let it be um something i don't want to see in a movie i really don't want to see her and uh clint you know what i'm saying uh team up hawkeye uh because that's when she starts like getting on the lighter side of of her profession. Like she, you know, she was still like that top notch agent, but she started having a sense of humor because of because of Clint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Clint Barton. <laughs> but because um, I don't want this to be a comical or a comic relief or movie because. The Black Widow character, when she started, she wasn't that person. Like, she wasn't that person, okay? So, I want to see a dark Black Widow movie. That's what I want to see. <laughs> that's that's what I think of when I hear of just a, a Black Widow solo movie. Dark, suspenseful, in-depth, just deep, and, and just crazy. Uh, movie, but let me know what y'all think about uh, Black Widow possibly coming out in the year 2020. Y'all let me know in the comments below. And like always, y'all, uh, favorite widows. <laughs>